Hey guys, this is Andrew from MobileBurn.com and I'm taking a look at the Nokia Lumia 925. Now of course, this is the big device that Nokia announced recently. I have the T-Mobile version right here on the left. And as far as the software, it's going to be the same Windows Phone 8 that you're familiar with. You're going to get nice, buttery smooth animations and transitions between everything. Of course, you've got your standard things like Xbox Music. Uh, you also have uh, the Nokia Music options. And because this is the T-Mobile version, you will have the My Account apps, the TV watching apps as well. Uh, aside from that, you can go into the Windows Store and pick out your own apps. They just made some new things, they, uh, new some changes to the Hair Maps suite of apps. But of course, what you're most interested in is the hardware. And in that regard, they've done some very nice things here. You see it's got more of a metal frame on the sides uh, rather than the polycarbonate that you saw with the Nokia 920. Uh, that makes it uh, feel a little more solid. The back is still a kind of a plastic material, but it's a little smoother and it's still nice. It's kind of similar to the polycarbonate, but it's not exactly the same texture. Uh, when you see it next to a Lumia 920, you can see there are some other differences. They've repositioned the flash. Uh, you also have buttons on the side, but you notice that the speaker is now on the rear, whereas the 920 it had it on the bottom. Uh, obviously, they had to make some trade-offs when they made the design to have a metal frame, so you couldn't have the same positioning. Aside from that, you have uh, back, you got your start button and search button as well. Micro USB at the top headphone jack as well uh, while on the 920 you saw it on the back you might also notice that the 925 is a tad slimmer and a bit straighter than the 920 that's because the 920 has wireless charging built in while the 925 requires a special plate to go on the back now of course they did this because they're gonna make it thinner so you have to make some changes uh, you snap that in you might not notice it because of the red background on the table but when I move it off you see that it really pops and it comes in more colors so if you're not a fan of red you can also get yellow and a few other choices and when you see on the front it doesn't really make any changes when you add on the wireless charging case just pretty much latches on and it, you can see the corners and you still see the metal kind of stick out and peek out and it's still very nice so if you've got a wireless charging port just put it down go away and you can still continue to use it. Aside from that, it's fairly similar to the 920 again like I mentioned, you know. Uh, camera is still going to be 8.7. Of course, they've made some big advancements in the software. Uh, we've written about that on the site. Be sure to follow the links down below to get more information on the camera software in, available in the Lumia 925. Price and date of availability, of course, is still to come. But, you know, this is going to be a T-Mobile exclusive uh, in the U.S. initially, so you can count on a lot of things being done by T-Mobile to let you know when that's available. In the meantime, this is Andrew from MobileBurn.com, taking a look at the 925 as it relates to the 920. Uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.